So I've had this griddle for like two years now, over 135 YouTube videos on it, and probably, I mean, over 200 cooks. I didn't film all the cooks, and it's looking a little rough. I'm in Ohio, I get all four seasons. Sometimes I get all four seasons in one week. That's just how hot Ohio is. And this thing needed, you know, a little bit of TLC. So uh, I'm gonna show you both methods, starting off with the pumice stone right now. First thing you're gonna wanna do is turn your griddle on. I'm just gonna get mine on low because I don't want it too hot, but what this is gonna do is help loosen up all of the debris and the nastiness that's on there. So just get it warmed up and then gather your utensils. I got a pumice stone, I got off Amazon, some oil, also got a towel that I plan on throwing away, water, and then a scraper. You could use a spatula or a dough scraper. Anything with a beveled edge would be great for this. You could use paper towels, but I was just had this old towel that I figured I'd just uh, give one last hurrah and throw it away. So after it warms up, first thing, you just scrape it the best you can. Just try to get all that grease and any sort of debris or uneven spots. Just get it all off there from old cooks. Everything that's on there, just give it a good scrape and try to get it all even. So I'm like really, you know, leaning into this and trying to apologize. Well, I apologize for the whole camera shaking, but uh, just really leaning into it, trying to get as much off as I can. You can see that there's these bare spots. The Camp Chef comes pre-seasoned and you can see some of it is the original seasoning. Some of it is more seasoning for me cooking on it. It's just a real uneven color. Then I'm going to put down the oil and grab the pumice stone the little holder actually was kind of helpful it kept flipping over a little bit on me but that just might have been user error but you put the oil down and you're just sanding it and you're just trying to get it as smooth as possible i mean you're still going to have these patches where there's the original seasoning and where it was peeling up and and that's okay it's not it's not a beauty contest here you're just trying to get everything as as even as possible and i really believe this is what like 80 percent of people need to do to just clean your griddle and get some of the rust spots up and it won't be a perfect all black but it still will work fine this only takes like 10 minutes to do so this is the one that i would recommend do not do this every time you cook this is way way too much because you're ripping up that seasoning so this is a every once in a while thing but i think it's an easier option than the drill so you can see i got the oil and the oil starts turning black as you're sanding it in and you get all the seasoning coming up and you're going to still see the patches, but at least it's all going to be smooth. It's all going to be one smooth surface, even if it isn't all the same color, per se, as you're going through on there. So give everything another kind of toss, and then here comes the water. And you're just going to get all that dirty oil off of there. Just make sure it all comes off, and you're scraping it down. You want to get everything back to being clean. And I mean, again... Oh, also watch out. Oil and water doesn't mix very well, so I think I burnt myself with this like black tar stuff. You can see it all over my scraper there in my hand. So I really I put in the blood, sweat, and tears for this one, folks. So look, then you take your towel or rag, and I roll it all over there, try to get everything off, all the old oil, and you can really see the spots and stuff now where it's kind of down to the steel and there's still some of the original seasoning the middle of the griddle is where most of the original seasoning is gone which makes sense it's where i do most of my cooking and you know it's okay it's just it's fine you're gonna have these bare spots so it's at least all smooth now it's not gonna be pretty it's not gonna win a beauty contest but you know what your grills outside aren't that pretty either so if, if you want it to be one full pretty color, you can do the next method, which I'll show you in a second. But I just want to reiterate that I, I really think this is enough uh, for most of the time. It's still safe to cook on. It's still going to make great food. So I'm just putting it on. I only did one coat of oil. Turn it up a little medium high just to burn this off. And uh, then you'll see after I burned it off, I went ahead and cooked on it right away. I mean, it got nice black. That's a nice little seasoning on it. You can still tell the difference between the old seasoning the new that's okay it wasn't affecting my cook i did like a breakfast cook i had uh, some pancakes you'll see here going down and they turned out great there's no like black spots or anything in them but before first i did another whole thing of oil before i started the breakfast cook though because you're just going to build the seasoning back up 
And here's the pancakes I was talking about. Look, golden brown, no black spots. Turned out great. No problems at all, huh? I also did some tater tot hash browns and some eggs and sausages and the black specks in the eggs are pepper, so everything else looked good. There's three things you need to know about sanding the whole thing down. One, you probably should get an electric drill. I had to recharge my battery like six times. I felt like an idiot, probably looked like an idiot, and it took a really, really long time. Two, make sure you get the wire wheel. I'll put a link in the description to some on Amazon. Because um, I started off with the cup, like the cup, and then an even smaller one, and neither one of those really worked that well. The wire wheel, firm one, is the one you need. It did way better. And three, no matter what you do, this is gonna take some time. So make sure you hunker down and you're ready for probably an hour's worth of work just to get this thing all the way down back to the cold rolled steel. So here's me first with the cup wheel. Uh, this is in double time, but I really kind of look like an idiot here because um, it's not working. I mean, it just really wasn't doing too well. So I just started in that one corner. I tried to turn it on its side to get like a little more of the wire getting down there and uh, it started doing a little bit better, but I mean, this is like five minutes of me just not really making a dent in this thing. So, uh, learn from my mistakes on this. Also, I eventually turned it on. That was another thing that seemed to help. It just makes sense. I turned it on when I scraped it earlier. Probably should have had it on the whole time. So, anyways, back to the wheel, the uh, non-wheel. Um, it worked a little better once everything was on, but still, you can see I'm struggling. It just wasn't, it was tough sledding with this one, folks. So, um, I wouldn't recommend using it. Did okay towards the corners there, but still tough sledding with this one. And then um, eventually I got smart and I switched over to the wire wheel, which you'll see here in a second after I just drowned it in this one for a while. So there's the two that I used. Neither one of those worked out very well. Um, and that's when I switched over to the wire wheel. And I would recommend just starting with it. Watch me do the wire wheel here. And I'm not going to do the whole thing. I just wanted to give you a good example of uh, what it looked like. As you can see, again, it's in double time. But it's just really starting to take off a lot more. And now, I still had that gray, grayish spot. It wasn't like a pure silver stainless steel like I thought. So I guess I could have gone over it another time. Maybe I was impatient after doing like three separate times of charging my two drill batteries and I could have got more of this off but that was the best I could do when I got to the corner this was real bad um, that's a corner where a lot of my oil would pull because it wasn't on a flat surface so it was tough sledding kind of once I got to that corner but you can see that it, it leaves some gray marks and stuff but I still it, it still all came off but I mean I'm talking I probably spent an hour and a half I'd say if you had an electric drill yeah, you do it in an hour because you wouldn't have to keep recharging stuff but that's what it looked like there all I had left to do is just kind of wipe it down and then put some water on it just to get off everything I could from the debris and all the oil that I got off I probably still could have done a better job but three separate trips and not an hour and a half was enough for me and oh look at that rag now it oh, it had it you did a good life buddy I'm sorry you died for a good cause of re-seasoning this griddle. So normal seasoning process again, we're gonna put down the oil, and this is after I wiped it with water. You can see it's starting to get the brownish color. Another batch of oil onto the smoking hot griddle. And for, I did three coats this time since I went all the way down to the steel. So there goes my second coat. And then after that burned off, oh, we're starting to look black. It's starting to look like a griddle, huh? There goes my third coat, still probably should have used tongs. I'm burning the hair off my knuckles, but that's okay. And it, you can see I had one spot where it pulled there a little bit, and there's a round spot, but everything else is starting to look pretty good. And I mean, I used it pretty much the next day. I made this like shrimp steak and chicken hibachi with a bunch of more oil to start adding to the seasoning. Nothing stuck, it all tasted great, you know? I hope this gives you an idea of what to do. I think you'll be fine just sanding it down with the pumice stone. I think that will work for like most people and will get you where you want to go and it can definitely make it usable. But if you really, really want to sand it all the way down and you want to spend the time, that's an option too. So now you know about both of them. Um, the hibachi cook that I did right after this on the newly seasoned griddle is on your screen now. Click on that if you want to see it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one and keep on the grill.